Hello YouTubers, this is Wolf359 coming back at you. I know it's been quite some time, but uh, what we're going to do today that I put off for a while was doing Jellyfin on getting into Jellyfin without port forwarding the ports for Jellyfin, but using Nginx Proxy Manager. So what we're going to do, we're going to sign in to our true NAS. We are on Fang tooth right now on true NAS. Sorry about that. So, yep, we're on Fang tooth The new update is still in beta form right now. So, there's no right now, we're just in beta still. So, there's no release yet or anything. So, we're there. Jellyfin's right here so we can see everything. We can go to the web port. That's pretty darn cool. So we're in. But we're gonna we're gonna get right here where we see our IP address or so forth. And we're gonna do that that away. But one thing I do wanna mention is I did get instead of having where we need it our media media file SMB you can do that set it up that way but I also had it set up where we could have file browser do it so if you're got a friend that's got movies or anything and you have file browser set up with your Nginx proxy manager and he's got movies that you don't have he can slap them on and I, I was having trouble with it but I figured it out that I needed the user ID and group ID to just be the app ID of 568, 568. So when you come into File Browser, it's web, you'd, you'd go straight into test, go into this right away instead of going into everything else, what we're pointing at. So we're pointing at the test file, so it's not seeing test is, is seeing this as an app instead of seeing everything else so it's not seeing Jellyfin that so it's seeing everything separate that's the good thing so we have it set up where we can see that app see all those videos so that's how you would set it up and then you can point to everything else. I'm still working on Nextcloud more on that for everybody down the road, but we just got off the last one of installing Nextcloud on to uh, VM on TrueNAS scale. Setting it up that way, running it off TrueNAS scale on a VM of Ubuntu, but I'm not worried about that right now. What we're worried about is getting being able to log into our uh, <laughs> Nginx proxy, <laughs> no, or Jellyfin. This also go for MB. I think I'm going to do a video on MB. We'll get that all set up and all. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull over Nginx proxy manager, and what we're going to do, we're going to set up a new proxy. I already have a domain going, so we're going to go Jelly Fin. 1212.duckdns. I was just having problems with it a few minutes ago trying to set it up. All just getting it. I started a video and then something kind of went a little squirrely where it wasn't letting us. DuckDNS has been up, down, a little squirrely on everything. But we're going to go through. Oh, sorry, everybody. But we're gonna go through, and get it all set up. Twenty six. Twenty six is the IP that we're looking at, not sixty two, but twenty six. Sixty two is my other true NAS server, but we're pointing pointing at this Jellyfin right here. That's on twenty six, and the port is three hundred and. 13. I'm going to check all this. Come over to SSL. Let me save all that. Everything. We're going to make.
make sure our SSL certificates are at all active. I just I didn't delete my SSL certificate because that was the problem right there with DuckDNS it was having. I went back, delete it, delete it like for my no IP one, so I did it for my next cloud and pointed it to that same and it went it loaded up with no problem. So, now we're able to point right at our Jellyfin server. And we're logged right in. I'm not saving that. Um, next step is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be setting it up also on all on our phone. So I don't have the app installed. Come down with a search. installed and we'll get set up through it this was the last one that we had set up that I had set up on here so it must have recognized because I deleted everything out but I did not delete so we're logging in. So you would do HTTPS, your domain name, and all. And that would. So here we go. We're going to do the password. I'm not saving that. Here's our movies. We'll play one. Get auto going. Showed that it's working. go yep. still playing on my phone uh, but I kind of exit out of everything so we'll bring up back up everything but that's how setting up Nginx Proxy Manager on TrueNAS. How to get Jellyfin set up with Nginx Proxy Manager. Works. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good, so it gets everything. DuckDNS is being kind of a problem child right now. So I can do it with my nextcloud12.ddns. But there's just duck DNS is here and there and everything. Uh there's a lot of good sites compared to duck DNS. Duck DNS used to be very good, but Now their servers are up, down, left or right. I don't know what's going on with them. Never used to have an issue with them. Uh, I just use no IP, but on the free side, so yeah, see, just trying to get their servers. I just use no IP for everything on all my issues. But I haven't purchased none of my domains at this time. I just try them, delete them, use them here and there. I only use a couple for majors. Like my Minecraft server and my uh, file my file browser for all my movies and all that, doing it that way. 
Uh, other than that, everything's set up good. Uh, those are the easiest ways to do it, to get uh, jellyfin. I'm sorry, in my mind, it's off track right now. So yeah, getting jellyfin without port forwarding the ports for jellyfin. And also, what we're seeing here was this. If you set up jellyfin on a main server as it's running mainly, this would be your port. But what uh, TrueNAS is doing is it's, it's using that port, but it's redirecting that port to be on 3,000 and 313 instead of the 806-8096 so forth so it shoots it that way uh, there's no really changing that port only if you do your own app customize your own app setting up ports that way or setting up a docker doing it this way but it all works out very good with no problem uh, I can go back into like some of the custom apps I've done like my crafty app I do need to get back into that one reset that up and do a full minecraft server off of crafty I'm thinking about doing a full minecraft craft off of uh, just Minecraft on here having it set up I'll be doing I will be doing that in a week I posted that on my uh, on my discord that I will be setting up uh, setting up a Minecraft server for only 12 people to test and all that put some out put some plugins everything on there so a couple some so everybody can have some fun here and there on it I uh, probably will do multi-core multi multiverse on it and everything but this video is not meant for that this is meant for jellyfin so uh, but if y'all like this want to have anything else done I'm going to be setting up uh, I will be setting up a MB server later down the road and getting it getting it pointing the same way using Nginx proxy manager getting it where the file browser sees it and I'm able to put movies on it getting it all set up that away and everything I was using MB, but I had problems with MB at the time. Uh, on my Samsung TV, I really liked MB, but it just gave a little issue there on Samsung TVs. But I think it was just an update issue, but I'm still using Plex for everything. I will be doing a video on Plex down the line. Also using Plex to point to with nginx proxy uh, i'm not going to do that with my true my real plex account that i have already on my other one on my main server that has everything because i have a lot of people that are on that main server watching and all that so i can't change up everything maybe later down the line when i can get in touch with everybody saying that i'm going to be changing stuff but other than that I will be doing later down the road doing an MB server and doing it the same way setting up MB so forth uh, yeah if if like I'm saying if there's anything else everybody wants to know about like jellyfin getting it all if I need to redo another video on how to set up jellyfin do a step by step all the way from the data sets to the media where I did I can do that we can go back through have that all done and I can do a straight video straight through 
on Jellyfin with media to Nginx proxy instead of having separate videos I can do it that way and we can have it all set up or if you want to Jellyfin's pretty much set up the same way as MB so we come back and we find MB and we see what we need to set up for MB so if we're installing <coughs> I think MB has yeah one storage configs right here so we just got to set that up not bad I do we do have to add the media say for but it won't be bad uh, we won't be changing out the ID but we'll get into that video when I get to it and all that other than that uh, please like share and subscribe I do have a discord that'll be down in the down in the bottom of bottom and I'll catch y'all later